This session will be our last session. Here we are going to discuss about the hydraulic calculations for standpipe system. If your project is served by the landing valves, then this calculation will be helpful. I will explain you about the standpipe system, but before that we are going to look at the summary sheet. So if you want to know the manual procedure for this standpipe system, you can check my YouTube channel Irfan CFPS where I covered this particular topic. See in Allied Fire, before we proceed ahead to enter the pipe input data and all the details, you need to make sure you create a summary sheet where you will mention flow from each landing valve as per NFPA 14 it shall be 250 GPM. Please note flow from the landing valve or hose valve shall be 250 GPM for 2.5 inch size and we need to consider two remotest landing valves in our hydraulic calculation. Basically, when you say standpipe system, it means we are considering the landing valves only. So now, if you look at the summary sheet, the total demand requirement based on the hydraulic calculation for the landing valves, we will mention it here in GPM and the inflow pressure required at the starting node. So now basically, we will look the isometric as per NFPA 14 as I already told you we need to consider two remotest landing valves and the landing valve size will be 2.5 inch only we cannot consider less than 2.5 inch fine and then there are two things to be understand while performing the calculation from each landing valve we need flow as 250 GPM. So if we add 250 plus 250, it shall be 500 GPM. So based on this particular isometric, we got the demand as 500 GPM. For demand, no need to perform the calculation, but we need to know the pressure as well required at this particular node so that we will reach our required pressure at this particular landing valve. So as per NFPA 14, we need 100 PSI at the remotest landing valve. So we will enter 100 PSI required at the remotest landing valve and 250 GPM required at each landing valve in our calculation so that the allied fire will calculate based on this. It will generate a result and now we'll go to the calculations. Here if you see the calculation report, we have mentioned like 500 GPM we got since from each landing valve we need 250 GPM. So we got 500 GPM and based on our input data, we need 176.76 PSI at this particular node. Then we will reach our requirement of 100 PSI at the remotest landing valve. If you look at this particular cover sheet, we have mentioned minimum residual pressure required at the hydraulically most demanding landing valve shall be 100 PSI. But here if you see, I mentioned only one. So I will explain you about this in a short while. But we have considered two landing valves in our calculations. However, I mentioned or the calculation report shows number of active hoses as one only. I will explain you about this in a few minutes. So now before proceeding ahead, I just want to highlight you. If you have another standpipe in this particular project and that is also served by the landing valves, then we need to consider 500 GPM from this particular remotest landing valve standpipe riser and 250 GPM from the other standpipe. 
so basically the demand will be 750 gpm if we have two stand pipes so as per nfpa 14 we need to consider 750 gpm as a system demand and that has to be entered in the calculation you can go through nfpa 14 if you need more details or you can contact me if you have three standpipe systems then you just approach me i will guide you how to proceed ahead or you can just check in nfpa 2014 you will find the answer for your query it's very easy so it's like homework for you you can just verify in nfpa 14 so now coming back to our calculation report we have mentioned like number of active hoses as one but we have considered two landing wells see basically we can consider two active hoses it means we have considered or for example i will put it here somewhere yeah see basically it means if we consider k factor for two landing valves or two remotest landing valves then it will show as number of active hoses two but in our calculation we consider k factor for only one landing valve and the k factor which we mentioned as 25k which will give or which means this landing wall will deliver 250 gpm but from the other landing wall other landing wall i did not mention any k factor because i will just mention it here for your records from other landing wall i did not consider k factor because or i considered fixed flow what do you mean by fixed flow i will let you know in few minutes so basically you can put either k factor for the two landing valves as 25k and 25k otherwise we can put from one landing valve we can put as 25k factor from the other landing valve we can just mention fixed flow as 250 gpm so here in our scenario i mentioned like for one landing valve 25k and from other landing valve as 250 gpm both are one and the same because the result is 500 gpm only so we just go back to the report now if you see here you can find here no discharge means from the pipe here you can see at node 17 it is fixed so we mentioned fixed flow as 250 gpm i will show you and from node 8 we consider as hose flow so here if you see i mentioned 25 k factor for this hose but here i did not mention any k factor for this particular landing valve we mentioned as fixed hose i will show you here if you see in elite fire for fixed flow we can mention like this for example at 17 node i consider 250 gpm instead of 25k factor actually i can consider 25k here in both the landing wall nodes and i can run the calculation but just i want to you know give you some other information as well that's the reason i have put 250 gpm as fixed flow for one landing wall and for the other landing wall i mentioned 25 k as you can see here so now one will be the fixed flow and the other will be the hose flow so based on this i got the result you can see here as 500 gpm and 176.76 psi 
see here you can see the summary as well host flow which means we consider k factor for one landing wall which is 25k so 25k means 250 gpm and fixed flow we just put manually 250 gpm for the other landing valve so it is showing here number of flowing hoses it will show one because we mentioned only one hose flow and the other is fixed flow now going back to the curve now you can see this curve i consider 1000 gpm at 100 psi fire pump but my requirement was 500 gpm at 176.76 psi since our requirement is more than 100 psi or more than 120 psi this particular line has crossed the fire pump curve so what we need to do we need to change the fire pump capacity or we need to change the fire pump capacity with pressure head so basically if you consider 1000 gpm at 150 psi maybe since the flow is less here this curve can come under this performance curve or under this fire pump curve so you need to check while selecting the fire pump what exactly is your demand based on that you need to select the fire pump so in a hydraulic calculation you can check as trail end error by considering pumps which you think that might be suitable for your system demand requirement however once you put the fire pump data then you will understand whether this particular line is under the fire pump curve or not so i hope uh, you understand the concept of uh, landing valves as well if you have any queries related to my complete lectures just you can contact me through my email id irfanmechangr at gmail.com and i have posted lot of videos on my youtube channel irfan cfps you can access the data for free from there as well thank you so much Bye.